this guy jumps out of nowhere and asks me for all my money. Well, they pulled out a handkerchief. Well, as he does this, I reach into my pocket and pull out my wallet, give him what little money I had. <laughs> what can I say? I'm an entertainer. <laughs> Takes the money, stuffs it inside the bag. Well, then he says, I want your watch. <laughs> I, don't, I guess he kind of noticed that I was wearing one. I was hoping he wouldn't ask for the watch because this watch belonged to my great-grandfather. Yes. He passed it on to my grandfather, and my grandfather, of course, passed it on to my father, and my father, of course, he sold it to me. <laughs> Dropped it inside the bag. Then he wanted the ring. <laughs> I didn't care about the ring. I got it for 10 bucks in Acapulco. I held up the ring, he held up the bag, I dropped the ring inside the bag, the thief ran off with my ring, there it is, my watch and my money. But little did he know that I was a sleight of hand artist. For as soon as he ran off with my ring, my watch and my money, behold, the ring was still on my finger. The watch was still on my wrist. And of course the money was still inside the wallet. And this poor unsuspecting thief was left with absolutely nothing.